So now that prices have dropped for six months straight, the question becomes, what is actually out there that might be affordable and fit my budget? In this video, we're gonna take a look at four properties that recently sold for under $400,000. Here in Ottawa, not the outskirts, but inside the city. And maybe, just maybe, there's something out there for you. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Andre with The Meadow Group and we service Ottawa and surrounding areas, all things real estate. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification for upcoming content. And if after this video, you might have some questions and you'd like to chat directly with me, there's a link in the description below. It's kind of funny, but six months ago when the market was completely out of control, $400,000 at the time didn't give you too much options. In fact, many buyers that were hoping to get into the market were forced to sit on the sidelines and wait and see if prices would potentially drop in the future. And guess what? They did, and now it's a whole different ball game. We have more options, more time to shop, less pressure, and hey, you just might be able to negotiate some money off that list price because these sellers are super motivated and not used to having their homes on the market for that long. Let's take a look at four different properties that recently sold. We'll break down the type of each asset class, how much it was listed for and sold for, and take a look at the picks and location of each property. Okay, so first up we have 1109 Stittsville Main Street, number I. This is a two bedroom, one bathroom, one parking stacked one level. It was built in 2008. Uh, the builder here indicated is Tartan. Uh, now, it was originally listed for 395. Uh, it was then lowered to 375, selling for 355, and it was 55 cumulative days on market. Uh, now, what else do we have to know about the property? The pro the taxes are $2,400 per year, and there is a condo fees involved as well for 279, and they include building insurance, landscape management fee, and snow removal. Let's take a look at the pictures. This is the exterior of the unit. And uh, as you can see, you walk up the stairs and here we have the unit itself. So we have some hardwood floor, some neutral paint. Uh, it looks to be a very open concept layout, fairly modern. You have the kitchen in the back there. So here are the stairs that are going up just from over here. Um, here's the island. We have some stainless steel appliances, countertops, some box, backsplash, uh, in-unit laundry. Uh, here's the full bathroom with the stand-up shower. So the pictures aren't too bad. They are showing kind of uh, all angles for the different rooms. Here's the bedroom. Uh, again, hardwood floors throughout. Some closet space. Here's the other bedroom. And you do get a little bit of a terrace here. So the way they've set it up is a couple of tables and couches to relax and kind of enjoy the outside. And there is also a barbecue in the corner. There's your one parking spot that comes with the unit. And uh, here is the layout plan. So we have two bedrooms, the living room, the kitchen. Uh, fairly kind of standard and very practical at about 855 square feet. Here we have a top-down view of where the property is located so you can get a better idea of the surrounding neighborhood, the roads, uh, any kind of nearby amenities, parks. Uh, so we are right here. Um, and we have two uh, access to the main roads just nearby. Uh, looks like some retail over here. Uh, so lots of amenities and uh, fully residential neighborhood nearby. Next up is 295 Timberland Terrace uh, in Orleans, uh, specifically in Queenswood Heights South. Um, we have a three bedroom, three bathroom uh, row unit, two story built in 1985. Uh, the property taxes are $2,500 per year. Uh, condo fees are almost $500, $500 per month, and they include amenities, building insurance, management fee, uh, snow removal, water, and sewer. So the property was originally listed for $399, and it sold for $388,500 with a total of 25 days on market. Um, let's take a look at the pictures and see kind of the condition. So we do have an end unit over here, end unit meaning that it is the last unit over here. You're gonna get a little bit of uh, more land and property to your, uh, to your right over here. Um, here's the inside. So we have carpet going up to the second floor. We have some hardwood on the main floor. We have a step down here to the main living area. Uh, walkout seems to be over here to the backyard. So again, these pictures are showing different angles to get you an idea of the interior. Um, more of the living room. Here's the kitchen. So we have some appliances. We have a little bit of a table that's been sitting there in the corner. Top down view from the second floor. So again, carpet on the second floors. Here's a view of the bedroom, some closet space. There's your uh, main bathroom. 
and uh, a couple more pictures of the uh, the living excuse me the bedrooms and we have some stairs going down to the basement and here is the exterior so top down view we are going from Stittsville to Orleans from west of Ottawa to east of Ottawa again this is going to show you kind of the surrounding area and what we're dealing with so again it looks to be a very mature neighborhood lots of residential some parks nearby we are located right over here at 295 Timberland Terrace looks to be like some retail uh, to your left and uh, again more on the neighborhood to give you an idea kind of what the surrounding area is uh, just to your right now we have 324 Laurier Avenue West, unit number 2107. So we are going to Ottawa's downtown core center town. We have a one level apartment high rise, one bedroom, one bathroom, no parking. It was built in 2009. Um, let's see, the taxes per year are $26.95. Condo fees are about $323 and they include air conditioning, amenities, building insurance, caretaker, heat. Uh, management fee, recreation facilities, and of course, one of the utilities is water and sewer. That's all included in the condo fees. Um, it was listed originally for 365, and it sold for 357,500. Cumulative days on market were 86. Um, let's take a look at the pictures. So, exterior view um, of the building of the high rise. Um, this is the main entrance lobby with the elevators. Here we have the unit itself. So you're getting a little bit more of an open concept, kind of that unfinished industrial look on the ceiling. You're gonna get lots of uh, floor to ceiling windows, lots of natural light, uh, views of downtown, of course. And as you can see, they have the living room set up with the TV. Um, there is your bedroom in the back there with some sliding doors for privacy. Um, here is a view of the kitchen and it looks like they have a portable island. We have some countertops, some cabinet space, stainless steel appliances. Uh, here's another another look uh, from a different angle. So again, a very kind of open space, uh, hardwood floors, very practical. Um, there's your, there's a picture of the bedroom and then your full bathroom, in unit laundry, uh, views of downtown. Here's a better look. Uh, you can see Parliament uh, sticking out there in the back right over here. Um, more views of downtown and now we have uh, looks like a lobby with um, part of the amenities in the building where you can kind of hang out maybe watch a movie we have so we have a pool table looks like we have a full kitchen and bar there in the back um, another view it looks like a terrace outside as well too uh, most most of these buildings do have a gym and uh, a rooftop terrace with some barbecue and then we have uh, a small pool as well so we are jumping from Orleans to downtown center town. Again, just to give you an idea of kind of where we are, the surrounding area. So lots of high rises. Um, this is the core of Ottawa. Now, if I go just a little bit to the left to give you an idea, a couple blocks walking distance and you're gonna hit um, the, uh, let's see, where are we right here? So Parliament Hill. And then of course, if you go up a little bit more, you're gonna get the National War Memorial. And now you're crossing over to the Byward Market. Uh, to the right, we have Elgin Street. So again, very center located. The last property that was available and sold for less than 400,000 is actually a freehold option. So the first three that I showed you were condo options. This is a freehold, meaning that you own 100% of the exterior of the building or the, uh, the, the house, the interior as well as, as, well as the lot. Uh, we have a three bedroom, two bathroom row unit, two story built in 1978. Uh, property taxes are about $26.92 per year. There is a small association fee of $160 per month. And uh, it was listed for $399.9 and it sold for $395.19 uh, days on market. Let's take a look at the pictures. So we have the exterior with the backyard view. Here is the inside of the home. Again, to give you an idea of kind of what it is. So you have some large windows, some hardwood floors. Uh, here it looks like a step down to the backyard. Then we have a step up to the kitchen and uh, stairs going to the second floor. Uh, here's a look at the kitchen. So uh, again, all the appliances are included or were included. Uh, we have some, uh, looks like recent backsplash that was done. Laminate countertops. Uh, another view from the above and now we have a look at the bedrooms so again looks like no carpet in this house um, more hardwood floors another angle of the bedroom 
here we have the main bathroom which looks to be recently renovated those look like to me the quartz counters uh some tile work uh recently done uh some pot lights so it looks to be very modern and here we have a look at the basement we have some tile and a bathroom downstairs as well two in unit laundry um, and of course here is the another view of the exterior um, of the home in the backyard we are jumping from downtown center town to hunt club that is where 120 royalton par uh, private is currently located so again i'm just going to stop this to give you an idea of surrounding area we have some green space we have some parks over here at the bottom looks like a golf course to your left uh, we have some high-rise condo buildings as well too with with uh, with parking so you're kind of located right here with uh, with with access by roads uh, nearby there you have it four great options that currently exist for the consumer today on a budget of four hundred thousand dollars or less you have time to shop and compare properties go home sleep on it think about it maybe come back for another showing and best of all conditions are back and exist to protect you the consumer if you'd like to see more properties like this just dm me and i'll be in touch thanks for watching catch you in the next one